Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the Colorado Buffaloes and the Georgetown Hoyas. And as we get set to tip off, let's take a look at two of the players we'll be following tonight. And of course, our starting lineup. Let's check out the matchup at small forward. These two will lead the respective teams tonight. I'm really looking forward to this matchup. When we get going here today, these will be the keys that each team will be paying special attention to all day long. The Hoyas get possession, and away we go. They work the perimeter. Swatted away. The Buffaloes are now setting up in their Princeton offense. Uh, this offense Gus, just drives you nuts. You've got to understand what they're doing, what they're doing next, and be in the right position on the weak side. He swats the ball. When you can pass and score like he does, it makes a coach's job a bit easy. This guy really thrives in almost any offensive system. Very versatile and a nightmare to guard. Looking for a good shot. Foul on the play. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You've really got to know your limitations, Gus. Here we have a look at one of the sophomores for this team. Plus, he's been through the first year. It's going to be exciting to see how much he learned as a freshman. His team definitely expects more from him this season. Makes the shot. Turns it over. On the outside. Thanks for joining CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. I'm Gus Johnson alongside Bill Raftery. The skip pass is picked off. Dump it inside. Turnover, they'll go the other way. Way out on the right wing. We've got a backcourt violation. Well, you don't want those type of violations to add up. Looking for a good shot. Shots up. Shots off. Rebound and run. Right receives the pass. The junior. How about that play? They went through the high post. Whenever you're attacking a zone or man D, it's key to get the ball in the center of the floor, and in particular, to the high post. Chappelle handles the feed. Block! Ball's going to stay here. How about a second time? Check out this layup. How about the concentration at the 10? The spike being banged in the paint. with 10 to shoot now. No, pulls down the board. Wright receives the ball.
fires. Shots off. Grabs the rebound. Lucas handles the pass. Turnover. He'll want that one back. On the wing. Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. In the post, it's a call for the foul. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. Here's another solid junior build. You want leaders on your team, at least I did when I was coaching, I and mean, a couple of upperclassmen will always be to your advantage. Free throw is good. He missed it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jump shot. Shots off. Snatches the rebound. The Buffaloes really focus their attack on playing in the half court at the offensive end. Offensively, they operate in a manner which almost draws you into a deep sleep. They'd like to wait for the defense to break down and then look for their offensive opportunities. Out on the left wing. We are at the seven minute mark on the outside. The shot clock down to 10. Top of the key. If it's knocked out of there, blocked. Now this is what you call a tough place to play. The crowd is completely behind their team. Nice low post play. Good entry down into the box. And the timeout is called. We've got a break in the action. Stay tuned for more NCAA basketball. And after the timeout, we're all set to pick things up. Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. On the left side. with 10 to shoot on the shot clock. Six minutes left on the game clock. Second team foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really gotta know your limitations, Gus. And here's a look at the first year player. He is beginning his career as a student athlete and that is a big deal. With the freebie. He hits it.
misses the free one. Get out and fill. Takes away the pass. On the left side. He strokes it. It's good. The Buffaloes are doing a great job of controlling the pace of this game. I'll tell you, if you make the opposition play at your pace, it can really get them out of their comfort zone. Now they work it around the perimeter. With 10 to shoot on the shot clock. Fires squared up on the catch. That is puppies in order. On the wing. Jump shot. And he lays it up and in. Out on the wing. That's going to be a backcourt violation, Bill. I guess you would say the defense did their job. The Buffaloes have been getting it done tonight as a team. Yes, it makes things really difficult for the defense when multiple players are contributing at the offensive end. I doubt they were prepared for this. The mark. I own it. Four minutes left on the game clock. They work it around the perimeter. Fires. He missed it. Oh, physicality. The freshman is a bit careless with the basketball. They work it around the perimeter. Turns it over. Matt on the move. The soft move. On the left side. He can't get it to go. Pulls down the rebound. Three minutes left on the game clock. In the paint. And he's it in. The Hoyas are getting some great opportunities to score when they get the ball in the high post rack. Well, anytime you get a player on the high post, you can make plays, you put pressure on the D, and that can lead to some easy open looks. Jump shot. Shots off. Pulls it in. On the right side. Got it. Picked out of the air. Out on the right wing. We are at the two-minute mark. Looking for a good shot. In the lane. And it's Dumas is a big guy who can really hurt you down low. He's one of those type of post players who can get it done in a variety of ways. In the paint, from 12 to 15, he can knock it down, passes it a little. He's a skilled player with a great head for the game.
And we're ready. And we're back. Gus Johnson along with Bill Raftery with you here, ready to inbound after the timeout. Intercepted. They work it around the perimeter. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. On the left side. Can finish. One minute left on the game clock. Dump it inside. Nice look. Bang. They work it around the perimeter. Jump shot with the answer. Looking for a good shot. In the lane. And he can't get the bounce. Rips it down. On the wing. Heat check time from long range. No luck from downtown. The first half is in the books. The road to the final four is up next. And here is our game summary. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who has been doing what. Here's a look at how both teams are doing with their keys to the game. Looks like they're going to play a little minimum. On the right side. No. Ah, he got it up and in. They work it around the perimeter. Shot clock shows 10. Off the mark. They should look to push it now. A little woo-woo, Gus. Way out on the right wing. Out on the right wing. First personal foul. Too aggressive on defense here. And he winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. To the charity strike. Freebie is in front. Rims off. Got it from the free throw line. On 
the left side. Call for the foul. Up. Counted and the foul. Inside or outside, you have to keep an eye on this play. Well, his ability to step out makes him such a tough card, Gus. Who do you put on him, a big or a little? Can he cap the free throw to get a three-point play? No good. Great inside control. He intercepts it. On the left side. In the lane. And it's. Picked off. Out on the way. Jump shot. Shots off. He owns the window. On the right side. And the ball is out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. Inbounds play on the baseline. Second personal foul. Too aggressive on defense here. He winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in. You get in trouble. Seniors are tough to come by these days. When you have a few of them on your roster, it really helps from a coaching standpoint. They know what's expected of them, and they're most likely to deliver. He makes it. He got them both. That trap could spell trouble. Work it around the perimeter. He fires it up. Shots off. What a rebound. Now they work it around the perimeter. The sophomore. That was a nice play, Rad. They got that one because they played through the high post, Gus. A great way to attack any type of defense is through the high post. On the wing. Now with 10 to shoot. Up it inside. Up and in. Ha <laughs> ha! The Buffaloes are controlling the pace of the game. They're doing a terrific job at playing their game, really making a conscious effort to control the tempo and imposing their will on the opposition. Out on the right wing. Fires. How about that? <laughs> Seven minutes left on the game clock. And he bangs it down. On the right side. Backcourt violation call. It's a team effort across the board so far today, Coach. Every player who's stepped onto the court has been really focused, which makes it extremely tough for the opposition. This type of teamwork is fantastic to watch. On 
the left side. Look at that block! Terrific reaction! Now on the run. Put a little English on it! Out on the left wing. Steal! Here they go in transition. We are at the six minute mark. Looking for a good shot. He takes the three. With no luck. What a rebound. It's mine. Now they work it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. On the outside. Second team five. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. The Hoyas are not the greatest free throw shooting team. Anything free, you just have to convert, Gus. Misses. Big time presentation at the rim. He made himself bigger by extending his arms. Picks off the pass. Five minutes left on the game clock. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jump shot to call for the foul. Too aggressive on defense here. He winds up with the foul. Now you always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. The Hoyas are a poor free throw shooting team, Coach. Boy, that is a bad characteristic to have. Gets two at the charity strike. Here's the pick. He missed it. Great strength. The Hoyas are doing a terrific job of controlling the game. Really done a great job establishing a good pace. A pace that suits their strengths as a team. Inside. We're at the four minute mark. Welcome back, and we're set to inbound after the timeout.
He intercepts it. Out on the way. And the block with 10 to shoot now. He shoots from the top of the circle. Shots off. It's mine. Three minutes left on the game clock. The shot won't fall. On the right side. Escapes the trap. Right around the trap. That's a good job of attacking the defense. No! Snatches the board. The Hoyas are playing their style and controlling the tempo. You know, Gus, it's all about going out there and executing. They've done a great job of taking care of tempo. Cross court. He shoots from outside. He misses from beyond the arc. On the wing. Two minutes left on the game clock. Now we've got a turnover. Out on the right wing. Shot clock down to 10. In the post. In the lane. Got it. Wow. Way out on the right wing. the one minute mark 10 on the shot clock and he lays it up and in good find on the back door cut just an outstanding delivery right there on the money And we're back, ready to get things going again after the timeout. On the right side, he tries the three. No. A little clock management now, Gus. They have to foul in order to stop the clock.
And yet another stoppage, and yet another foul. And why not? Thus, I think they'll keep fouling until they're back into this game. Foul, and that stops the clock again. the free throw line opportunity solid shooter it's good stoppage and yet another foul and why not now they'll line them up sinks it doubt about it. Sajak with the ball. He launches a three. Outside Jay won't go. It's all about shot selection, Gus. It's so important to take good shots. And not necessarily the shot the defense wants you to take. On the outside. Opportunity here to put some points up, Gus. Clock stopping. Zajac on the left side. He misses from long range. Griffith gets the ball. And here we have our players of the game built. Two great players, Gus, who came in with a mindset that they were going to make a difference tonight. Well, folks, that concludes our coverage of NCAA basketball on CBS Sports. I'm Gus Johnson for Bill Raftery. Good night.